Hey guys, so in this video, I'm just going to talk about the Mac virtual display after the Vision OS 1.1 update. I just have to say that I think this is a great update. It looks much sharper. Uh, before, it was definitely very fuzzy and kind of the foveated rendering, which, you know, which if you don't know what that is, it's when it's, it's very, things that you're looking at are very sharp and then things blur out to the outside. And I feel like before it was too aggressive, too strong. You could see it very obviously and things were hard to read. Things were hard to look at and it was very laggy just moving the mouse around and, you know, changing different screens like this and, you know, scrubbing all this kind of stuff. You know, it was just unusable. And now I feel like I have to look for the foveated rendering. I have to look for the blurriness and I've worked on this for a little bit now and i have to say i'm when i'm using it you just kind of forget and it's almost compared to just working on my usual 27 inch benq monitor you forget you're just working in your mac studio because everything's crisp and sharp it's definitely not perfect it's not you know 100 percent as crisp as my benq monitor but i would say it's probably 90 percent there now and before the 1.1 update it was probably at like 60 percent it was Pretty horrible, pretty unusable, laggy, slow, and not very good at all. And now you can see, you know, if I just go through here and scrub, there's no lag. I'm Fred Trevino. I've been a professional colorist for Beanbox Studio for 15 You can see it's great. And also, if you haven't seen this video, this is my video I recently posted on working in DaVinci Resolve on the Vision Pro. So if you'd like, check it out here. But that's basically it. Great update. I think this is a great improvement to the Vision Pro. I'm sure there'll be more Vision OS updates coming that will only make it better and better. And I'm definitely going to work using Mac Virtual Display now. And again, this is a new channel. I'm going to keep posting about the Vision Pro. Any questions you have about it, ask below. And again, like, subscribe, and I'll see y'all later.